Good morning. Today we have some conditions that are pretty pleasant yet again to start off our morning. We are talking some quiet weather, some milder weather. And while there is a little bit of a wind out there, it's not too strong at the moment here in the valley. So all in all, not a bad way to kick off the day. Still places with snow on the roads and sidewalks as well. Yesterday, you know, we warmed up. We saw the sun. Those temperatures rose above freezing in a lot of spots. And that led to a lot of slushy conditions on the roads. And that type of thing that led to more slick spots and, and freezing over in some cases overnight again. So uh, it's helping, uh, but at the same time, in that process, it's been pretty slick. So looking at our temperatures yesterday, some of us only got to 30. Other places, Sisseton hit 40 degrees. That was a nice warm up. Fargo saw 35. We'll see some more warmth on the way for today coming up here in the valley. So here's a look at our temperatures right now. We're actually starting off pretty mildly in most places. The exception, Faustin at 10 degrees right now. It's 22 in Fargo and 22 currently in Grand Forks. Our wind speeds are westerly and we've got one place that's gusting this morning and that's down in Gwinter. We've got a 16 mile per hour gust, a steady speed of 16 miles per hour in Devil's Lake. So overall still keeping that wind around overnight and we'll stay with us this morning. We do have some wind speeds that are uh, bringing our what it feels like to be out there down. So our wind chills are into the single digits in one spot at least and that's in Langdon at seven degrees. The rest of us feeling like we're into the teens, maybe even 20. So uh, not too bad here to start off today. Radar and satellite map not much to show you. We are looking at some quiet weather, some conditions that are going to remain uh, kind of on the quiet side here for today with more sunshine ahead of us. Here's a look at that hour by hour planner. Expect again some quiet weather and we're looking at that chance for more cloud cover up to the north and east but overall uh, generally more on the quieter side today with the cloud cover just kind of hanging on in places like Devil's or rather Lake of the Woods and maybe a few clouds over by Devil's Lake uh, but most of us you could see really getting to enjoy some sunshine here this morning and continuing into the afternoon temperatures will be approaching 30 by the afternoon rising above it for a time uh, today as well and conditions that are are looking pretty good, especially given that the wind that we're dealing with this morning will ease up a little bit more as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. So that will be a little bit lighter here. And in addition to that, you could see that most of us enjoying some sunshine in the afternoon. Again, Northern Valley will be the focus for uh, some cloud cover. Checking out your hour by hour planner into tonight, more of those clouds start to fill in because we've got a weak system moving through and, and that will be impacting some of us as we head into the next 24 hours from here. So this is 10 o'clock tonight. Clouds take over. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies to start the day tomorrow. And here's some blue on the map indicating the potential for a little bit of snow. And that will just try to drop into the northern valley. Though we can't rule out any flakes anywhere in the valley, but northern valley, it looks like right now, may be the focus for that. Should be pretty light stuff, but still could impact your morning drive on Thursday morning in those spots. Winds will be stronger too out of the northwest on the backside of this system. And we're looking at temperatures tomorrow that will be into the 20s. Uh, maybe getting to 30, but overall slightly cooler day ahead of us for tomorrow. And gradually we'll see things clear out into tomorrow night. So here's a look at your photo today. A snowbird that looks like a blue jay there in the Gary area. Thanks, Kristen, for sharing your photo with us. And a look at our seven-day planner. We're going to see those temperatures that are going to be on the downward trend for the rest of the work week. By Friday, a high of only 19 degrees. Saturday, we warm up just in time to get to about 30 and a breezy condition. Sunday will be our next more significant chance of snow. Not a heavy event, but still a couple of inches possible. And then with that, much colder air to follow. Is it January coming? I know. Tuesday? <laughs> we keep doing that. We move into a new month. We think we're going to turn over a new leaf. The next thing you know, we just kind of double down on the colder than average weather we've seen in recent months. OK. But this week has been starting out pretty nicely here for us for today. OK. Thank you, Lisa.